Tamara Morehouse and Michelle from our military kids. We also have Sherry and her kids, JR and Caitlin. Uh, their father can't be with us, um, but Colonel James McCandles is currently serving um, a one year deployment in Germany. So thank you so much for your service, Colonel. Um, what's, what's the hardest part when your husband is gone so long? Um, it's just him missing out on everything. Hmm. When his first deployment, JR was born during his deployment. So he oh, didn't, when gosh. he came home, JR was five months old. So we missed out on that. Um, a lot of their sports, the activities, mm. sports, you know, band performances, homecomings. He hasn't, you know, just sees it through pictures. Yeah. Um, well, Dr. Phil, long deployments are tough for families. And what's your advice for staying connected? Well, you know, fortunately, we're in an electronic age now, so that we do cool. have the ability to you know, have Zooms and FaceTimes and stuff like that. But it's really the content. The intimacy comes from knowing what's going on, right? Knowing what's going on in your lives. Because they tell me, the veterans tell me when they're deployed, they want to know the little things that are going on. What'd you do today? What, what accomplishments did you have? Mm -hmm. What challenges? And they want to feel needed. If you can ask them a question, can you help me with, even if it's a homework problem or something, they just want to feel like they're still needed, they're still plugged in. Um, I agree though, man, striving for that communication has got to be key. Yeah. Um, so do you agree like with, with you know, how you grew up? Um, 100%, I mean, my parents weren't deployed, but they would have to go away for training sometimes. And the greatest thing that I had is my sister. You know, I wasn't going through this alone. We had each other. Knowing that there are other people going through the exact same thing you're going through makes you feel like you're not alone. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's the coolest program, and I love it. Um, so, JR and Caitlin, what are, what are you most looking forward to when your dad gets home? Like, when he comes home, like, what do you, what do you all most look forward to? Just chill or...? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, just excited to have him back, have him around, do yeah. things with him, uh, just have family dinners and stuff. Just being able to spend time with him in general. He's a very loud, bubbly person in our house. So, and then missing that one part is definitely an adjustment. Uh, well, you guys um, don't have to wait for your dad anymore, though. Colonel James McCandles, come on! First of all, thank you, sir, for your for your service. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Your family's awesome. Wow. <laughs> I want to go hiking with your son on some kind of trip. That sounds fun. Um, <laughs> so, how does it seeing your family each time? Is it just crazy when you get to come back home? It, it is. I mean, it's it's always amazing to be able to come back and see my family. You know, it, you know, with technology, I mean, we still have the ability to communicate and stay, mm. you know, FaceTime and so on, but. Um, just seeing how much they change uh, e e between each deployment, um, it it's, it's just... It's it such a cliche, but they grow so fast. <laughs> well, they do. Yeah. And, and, you know, it, you know, as they were younger, you know, you were like, ah, you know what, we, st we still got time. You know, I'm missing some of the key events. But, you know, now, now they're, get they're getting older. You know, JR will go to college next year. So, um, you know, you're missing out on those kind of key events. You yeah. know, I I've missed both of them turning 16 uh, by deployments. Uh, I missed him turning 18 this year. So, um, but it, it's just really amazing to be able to be back, um, spend that time with them and be able to see their, uh, their events in person and, and getting back to that, so. Yeah. Um, you know. Well, I am just really happy to, to have met y'all and to be able to lift y'all up and celebrate y'all and I can't wait to see what you do with hockey and I mean, I'm <laughs> like really down for like a cool trip to go hiking. <laughs> I love hiking. Um, and it's just really cool. It turned out everybody kind of can relate. And, and you know, we all feel so divided, but there are a lot of commonalities, and you are not alone, like Tamara was saying. And, um, and just thank you guys so much for your service, all right?